What up, what up, what up? What up, everybody? We live. Back to shoot another show. Good morning, good morning. Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Shalom and God bless. Shouts out to every other bond servant of the Lord out here trying to do the Lord's work in his will. You know what I'm saying? We bond servants, so we serve, we serve out of love and obligation. So we come before you with love today with another word from on high. About to drop it on y'all. Okay, so once again, the Lord told me to start out here outside, so they actually cutting the grass, doing a great deal of landscaping around the neighborhood, so if y'all hear any noises or whatever the case is, that's what it is, but we'll be heading inside into the headquarters in just a minute, you know what I mean? Y'all, once again, welcome back, glad to have y'all. Uh, if you feel compelled to do so, you can listen, like, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel, G1TV, all the old videos, plus some bonus footage is there. Know what I mean? We'll be uploading there daily. Um, I want to do on my announcement now. Yeah. Anybody who plays, you know what I'm saying? Any type of video games, whatever the case is, Call of Duty, whatever, whatever. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? We're thinking about starting a, a Twitch stream up just so that we can be able to interact and sit with the people. Because the Lord spoke with me and my manager uh, this morning. It was like uh, maybe 1.30 in the morning. I couldn't sleep. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't going to front y'all. The enemy tried me. You know what I'm saying? He tried me. Okay? So I got angry. You know what I mean? I didn't yell. I didn't scream. I didn't curse. I grabbed my journal. You know what I'm saying? I grabbed my journal. The Lord gave me a word. And you know what I'm saying? The Lord just came. He filled up the place. And he told me to put this word out today. So we here now to drop this word. So hopefully y'all will receive it. Shouts out this screenshot again for the clothing. You know what I mean? And um. I need to think about giving me an endorsement deal because I'm about to be rocking all these pieces. Anyway, hope y'all enjoy the show. Let's go inside so we can get started. Um, I got in a little bit of trouble, you know what I mean, for the way I presented my last word. You know what I mean? Nothing too major, but the Lord told me to set the office up, and I didn't really. You know what I'm saying? I forgot to put something in that he had asked me, but I got it all set up now. We running. Everything is up and running, and we're ready to go, so. Um, hopefully you guys can join us for just a few and uh, for this tremendous word. Also, as I said on the other word, when I do these words, you know what I'm saying? This is not a joke. This is not a game. I did not want to be no minister. I've been running from the God, you know what I'm saying, in my calling since I was 19. You feel me? Um, but I stayed with the Lord as best I could anyhow, and now I'm walking in, you know what I'm saying, his desires and the things that he wants me to do. So I don't want anybody just to, to think, you know what I mean? I'm just getting on the camera trying to run my mouth, you know what I mean? On here flapping my gums. Flapping my gums, talking a whole bunch of nonsense, just trying to be seen. Because um, I could care less about being on the camera. But if this for y'all, and the edification of the Lord's people, you know what I mean? And the people who are going to come to him, especially for the youth. You know what I mean, I want to say to the youth real quick, like, this is y'all show. This is a show for, you know what I'm saying, teens, adolescents, young adults, and a little bit up in age. I say maybe the Lord, you know what I'm saying, gave us a demographic of 11 years old to like 45. So, you know what I mean, this is y'all show. This is a safe place y'all can come because the Lord is sick and tired of People praying to him and saying the reason why they don't go to church and read the Bible is because there's nobody that can relate and speak their language. Well, I'm here, you know what I mean? And I'm just being myself. BYS, baby. Shouts out to Baby Hayes and Rock Mart. You know what I mean? I see you. Much love. And um, so I'm here. So the Lord doesn't want to hear that no more, you know what I mean? Um, Now he said, he said, period, point blank. If you listen to this word and you one of them people who fell away from the church and don't fellowship with the brethren, when you see these videos come on, you can choose not to watch it if you want to. But on the day of judgment, you ain't going to have no excuse. Because the Lord's saying, right now, he's saying, I'm sending my servant sincere on there with these words or whatever the case is. Y'all can take it however y'all want. Um, but, you know, now you can't use that excuse. And he building up other young men and young women uh, just like me that's going to do the same thing. See what I mean? So, again, thank y'all for joining me, you know what I mean? Um, shouts out to the person who just clicked in, 
a word from the Lord for his people. I usually don't receive words so fast. I, I just put out I just put out the word the other day, the youngest in charge. So this is the part two of the youngest in charge, the series that we're doing on taking authority. You understand? So all my generals in the Lord's army line up. The Lord said, fall in, okay? Anybody who down with the movement, any G's out there supporting G1 Entertainment, man, putting God first in your life, he said, fall in, you know what I mean? Right now, we got a word, a divine release is gonna take place, and uh, yeah, we gonna go ahead and go in, and we gonna go ahead and get started. Um, and you know, don't be afraid to share the videos again, like I said, come back to these, study these, get the gems. It's a lot of jewels being dropped in the, these lives. That's why the Lord has me on here for such extended periods of time. So, you know, if your attention span is too short, maybe it's just not a word for you. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? But um, either way, there's gems in there for you. Maybe everything is not for you, but go ahead and chew up the meat in this and spit out the bones because it's time for his children to get off that milk. It's time for you to get up off of this baby bottle, that baby bottle, and we're going to have some surf and turf. We're going to go to the steak and shrimp. You know what I'm saying? We're going to put the big food on the menu now. You know what I mean? So, let's see. Welcome in. Let's go into the, to the hideout, man. What's up, man? Welcome back. G1HQ is your boy. We're going in. All right? And we're going to go before the throne, then we're going to get it popping. Hope y'all enjoy this word. And um, I'm about to deliver this as best I can. I'm tired. You know what I mean, we was up all night, but we don't complain. Like I said, the Lord tells us to do something. We just do our best to do it. So the Lord going to give me the strength. And he already told me this live about to be flying here. So thank you for everybody that's joining us today. Um, I already have everything set up. You know what I'm saying? Just for the sake of time. You know what I mean? So... <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me just take my seat and we can begin, y'all. Okay. So the Lord, he barked on me. You know what I'm saying? I got rebuked a little bit because he was like, yo, you know what I mean? Why you don't want to set up your equipment before you do your shows? Like, it's cool you're doing the music, but I gave you more than that. I want you to use every single tool I gave you when you get on these videos, man. All right. So we got the Yala right here. I'm ready, Lord. I'm ready. I'm ready. So we got the Yala right there for y'all. Um, and we'll be coming off of two devices right here. I'm not trying to stun on nobody. I don't care. I'm not. You know what I mean? I'm being humble. You know what I mean? If y'all serve the Lord and stop trying to skip through processes and taking shortcuts and just wait on the Lord and do what he asks you, y'all be sitting in the computer lab too. But y'all want to rush. Y'all want to undercut people. Y'all want to get jealous. Y'all want to try to knock people off. You know what I mean? Biting and devouring and destroying. And you're wondering why you're running in place with the Lord and everybody else around you making progress and you not. The Lord said you already know why. Okay? So get yourself back in alignment. You know what I mean? For anybody who loves this show, you know what I mean? Hit that follow button, you know what I mean? Hit that follow button at the top of the page so that when I go live, you'll receive a notification and you can join us. Um, you don't have to be getting it in on the dregs and, you know what I'm saying, after everybody done chewed up the meat, you coming back for the dregs at the bottom of the bowl. Nah, man, don't be afraid to subscribe to the YouTube channel either, you know what I mean? We got a lot of new content coming. We got Twitch streams coming. Excuse me. We got interviews with people of God and notable entrepreneurs who share the same faith as us. We got a lot of stuff coming. So if you ain't subscribed to them channels and you miss out, then you just miss out. You know what I mean? Because number one, I'm about to be sent out, says the Lord. So these lives ain't going to be here forever. So get it now while the food is hot, B. And don't, but don't complain if you got to eat some leftovers later. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, the world needs the gospel. So if the Lord wants to send me, I'm going to go. But right now, you're going to get to the show, baby. I'm excited to be with y'all. Excited to be joining y'all. All right. Excited to be joining y'all. Hello, hello. Welcome in, everybody. Listen, like, share. It's your boy. Sincere Jones, we back. G1 Entertainment representative. Shouts out to my whole team. Everybody. Shouts out to my cousin Malik. Man, we glad to have you back in the fold. You know what I mean? 
Be strong, King. Shouts out to Andrew. Give a shout out to my uh to my financial manager, Richie Rich, my vice president, Samson Halu. You know what I mean? Out in Australia. Shouts out to everybody in the UK. Listen, liking, and sharing the videos too. We really, really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody for streaming the music and the album. We got a new album on the way. And um that's it. Let's start the show. Let's start the show, baby. Yeah, we back, baby. We back. Yeah. God first entertainment. So glad to be coming before y'all. Let's go. Yeah. Welcome back to the lab. You know what I mean? Yeah. Full-time minister right here. Full-time ground, black entrepreneur. Young mogul. On the rise. You know what I mean? We got a lot of music and things going on. Two guns up. Yeah. As I always say, I'm not playing. All you witches and all you warlocks, go get your daddy. If he ain't want me to come live and do this video, because I'm about to set hell on fire more than it's already burning now. I'm going to knock him right off his fake throne. I'm not playing. I want the smoke. Don't you ever try to come test me in my sleep. Ever. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We're going to stay pure. We're going to stay clean. And we're going to do our best to keep it holy, fam. You feel me? Don't just let the devil have you, man. He gonna throw temptation at you every which way, y'all. Y'all be strong. Pull the y'all out and start busting. I bet you he'll leave you alone then. I bet you he'll leave you alone then. I bet you he'll leave you alone then. Amen. Amen. That's right. Uh. Hi, B. Hi, yo. So check it out. Like I said, I got tempted in my sleep last night. I did not give in. I'm very proud of myself for that. You know what I'm saying? But I got up and I bust back. You know what I mean? So I was so pissed and so mad. You know what I mean? And then the Lord told me, there's a small contingent of y'all assembling around me that really, really like the show and really appreciate what we're doing. We want y'all to be a part of the team. You know what I mean? You can show your support and your solidarity as we stand for the Lord and continue to do his work by simply pushing the like button. You know what I mean? Simply sharing, simply following. That's all we asking of you. You know what I mean? If you want to, you know what I mean? Stream the album, you can do that. The Beautiful Struggle uh, Origin Story. You know what I mean? It's in stores now all around the world. You can purchase that album. You know what I'm saying? Or listen free on YouTube. Purchase it via Spotify, Apple Music. All the support is greatly appreciated. So don't be afraid to sow a seed, ladies and gentlemen. And um, any new endeavors that the Lord gives us, we'll be letting you know. Okay, shouts out the screenshot for providing me with this gear again. You know what I'm saying? I think it's fire. I think it's very fitting. It's my style more or less. So let's go and let's go. <clears throat> All right. So now we about to start the show. Okay, because I want to smoke and I'm not playing. All right. So to all the members in my army, you know what I'm saying? That's assembling around me right now. Didn't I tell y'all on the last live that we was going to go, that I had got all my things from the enemy that he stole from me? You, you Okay, maybe that might be hard for you to believe. Thank you, Lord. This is the introduction. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Boom. All right. Y'all see it. Three y'all is right here. Whole computer lab right here. Feel me? All right. Got the tabo right there, the tablet. You know what I mean? Whole office coming together. We getting some more set pieces. Y'all thought we was done. I thought we was done. And we was going to start the construction phase. Well, the second half of the construction phase in here. But the Lord was like, no, 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 my son, you're not ready yet. I have more stuff on the way. So go ahead. Just put your position and put all that stuff in the corner. Boom. So if you don't think the Lord will transform you in your life, you're tripping. You're bugging. You're out of your mind. Something is wrong with you, son. You need some help. You feel me? I don't know. We're going to get you some help, though. We're going to get you some help from the Lord above. You feel me? Now, listen to me, yo. Okay. So the Lord hit me with all these things. It was because when I had the little bit I had, I was getting it in. You know what I'm saying? If you didn't watch the previous word and you want to know a little bit more about what I'm talking about, just go ahead and listen to the last word, uh, youngest in charge. The youngest in charge. You feel me? So it's time for us to stand in authority, especially us young people. Before I start, the Lord said, tell them, sincere, the older people in our generation cannot stand and fight. They are old. Okay? They need our voices right now. They need our strength. They need our time. They need our talents and they need us to give attention to the matters that's going on in the world. So when you have a chance, 
Can you please shut off your tablet? Can you please turn off your computers? Can you please turn off your TV and put down your phone and spend some time with the Lord and begin to pray a little bit more for our elders because they're suffering the most, okay? And we have grown so selfish that we just think the world revolves around us, okay? So when they start dropping bombs over Baghdad over here in the United States because innocent blood is about to be shed, Iran is coming, okay? They coming. They going to murk us. I'm giving you this prophetic word. You don't think it's a prophetic word? Y'all don't want to believe me? You want to keep believing them ragtag stupid rumors you heard about me? All right. When you see missiles going off and when you hear sirens all around like it's a tornado outside and you really see a building blow up in front of your face, you're going to wish you had spent time with the Lord. Because if you don't repent now, you might not make it, B. It's about to be tanks over here, B. It's about to be tanks over here. Okay? So y'all better be careful who you align with when it comes to the government. You better pray before you put a vote in the ballot box and stop voting for who you like. I'm telling you, y'all got them injecting poison in your veins. Where's COVID at? I don't see it nowhere. Yeah. You feel stupid, don't you? And y'all all laughed at me out here. Oh, you stupid for not getting vaccinated. No, you're dumb. For not listening to the Lord. All in the name of your money. For the love of your money. And now there ain't even no food to buy. So was it worth it, stupid? Next time, listen to the people of God when we talking to you. Because we not going to be here forever. Let's start the show. The enemy tempted me all night. All night. Thought he was going to knock me out of the secret place. So that I wouldn't present this word to y'all this morning. So guess what? I got the Yala, the Lord here. I got Gideon, the prophet from the Bible here. From the book of Judges. We gonna hear from King David today. Oh yes we are. Okay? Cause God calling up all the heaven to help us and y'all don't even want to pray. Then you see me getting on here anointed. On fire. Devoting my life to Christ and you want to be mad. God rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Repent, fall in line and get in alignment or get out of the Lord's army. Get out or he will spill you out. He will vomit you out of his mouth. The separation of the wheat from the tares has already begun. Huh? It's millions of saints all around the world being vindicated. Because we were put on trial, falsely accused, slandered in the towns that we live in. But that comes with the game. Charge it to the game. But all you people talking, the Lord said, touch not my anointed. And you kept putting your hands on us, didn't you? So go get your daddy. Do not lie no more. To I'm a Christian. I love the Lord. Yeah, what Lord? Is the Lord of your life. Huh? Because over here at G1 Entertainment, no matter what we go through, no matter where we be at, no matter what none of y'all say, we decided to stand as a little ragtag army for the Lord, and we decided we're going to stand regardless. And we're going to pray for y'all regardless. And God is going to bless us, and he's going to keep us. And we pray that he does the same for you. Okay? Stop playing these games. See, you could be... 80 years old in the physical, and you could be five years old in the spirit. I'm 32. You about to hear the knowledge of the ancient of days coming out of my mouth. Okay? So what does that tell you? That means them old people who can't hold the candle to me and my squad when it comes to preaching, it's not a competition. It's about who studies. It's about whose heart is really for God. It's about who's going to steal away with Jesus. It's about who's going to forsake the crowd, get away from the cool kids, be a nomad, having to move from place to place at a moment's notice, packing up and leaving. Huh? When the, when the Lord comes to you and he tells you like Abraham, Abraham, get up and depart and go to the land where I'll show you. And if you do this for me, ah, 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 read the Bible for yourself. And you wouldn't be in this position. You wouldn't be in this position if you would have followed the real men and women of God. Just because somebody preaches to you does not mean they are called. Wolves have infiltrated the sheepfold. So y'all listen to them people who led you where? Astray. Right? Right? So I'm here to pull you back in for the Lord and for myself because I love you. 
And if I ever ministered to you, I told you to be careful who you listening to. But you chose to laugh and gallivant, didn't you? You thought it was funny. It's not funny when you ain't got no food for your tummy. And your babies is sitting at home and they hungry. Asking you, mommy, daddy, you went to work today. Can I borrow just a little bit of money? And you still got to look at them after a 12-hour shift like, I'm sorry, I don't have any, honey. What part of the game is this? I'll tell you, it's the end of the world. The only reason why we still alive is because God wants to smoke with the enemy. He wants to smoke. It says God wants to smoke. I got a Molotov cocktail to throw into the enemy's camp. And I promise you, all y'all witches and warlocks trying to bewitch me and watch my lives so I could forget the word. First of all, never going to happen. Second of all, I'm going to ask you one more time. Go get your father. Okay. Go get him, because I want the smoke. Y'all testing me too much now. All of y'all working for him, that's your business. But every false witness is about to be exposed. All y'all witches, y'all finna get up out these congregations. Y'all finna get up out these churches, and every single curse that you keep throwing against the children of God, because you know that they're unaware, so it can take effect. It's going to return to you now tenfold. Well, if you didn't want it, you shouldn't have put it out. So go ahead. That same poison you tried to make us drink, you finna sip that. And I want you to do me a favor. Do me a favor. Sip it slow. Sip it slow. Sip it slow. Sip it slow. I want it to go all the way down to your stomach. Huh? So you can feel the loneliness, the regret. The grief and all the problems you inflicted on people come back on you because you thought you were slick. You thought you were slick, didn't you? Well, now you got to deal with God's crazy little babies. And best believe we crazy. We won't let up. You can try what you want. You can do what you will. Boy, you better stop before you get murked out here by the hand of the Lord. He had enough. Now, he had enough. He had enough. No, it, it is enough now. It is enough now. See, you messed around and got comfortable when you thought you caught me slipping. I'm going to just tell my personal testimony, but this is happening everywhere, okay? I'm going to tell my personal testimony. So you thought you could murk me. Get me out of the body of Christ. And you thought, since you was going to make me, you thought I was going to fold under pressure. Pain make pressure and pressure form diamonds. So now, just like everybody else who doubted and hated on me, the label and the squid eye, you're going to watch me shine for the Lord. Tell your daddy I want to smoke. You ain't a Christian. You a liar. And the Lord already uprooted you. So have fun. Have fun. Have fun. I hope it was worth it. Amen? I hope it was worth it. I hope it was worth it. Okay, Lord, I'm about to get the blicky. You ready? Uh, let's go. G1 Entertainment. We live, man. Uh. Yeah. And the title of this word is called... Small armies do big things. Small armies do big things. It's only a few of us left that haven't fell away in the remnant. Little small army. But it's all good. Because I'm about to put a thousand in flight. And as soon as y'all watch this video, even if you watch it on the replay, you start playing with me, we busting against all of them. Let's go. Ah. I'm so angry. Tempted all night. Ain't get no sleep. Up preaching to my manager till 6.30 in the morning And now I'm about to get y'all I'm about to pull out the chopper And I'm about to get y'all the same word Get to the chopper And tell your daddy To all you witches Tell him I bind you up in the name of Jesus You're not running nowhere You're not running nowhere You're not running nowhere You're not running nowhere See See He keeps thinking he could test us bro He keeps thinking he can test us don't try me. You better try Jesus, fool. I, I, I ain't the one, okay? I ain't no perfect man. I'm still flesh and blood, amen? I'm still flesh and blood, boy. I'm going to knock your head off. 
I'm gonna knock your head off. And it ain't no herd of pigs we can cash you into. So you're just gonna have to go back to where you came from. The pits of hell. And you can take all your sons, your daughters, your witches, your warlocks with you. Cause y'all are finished. Game over. Game over. Game over. Game over. Game over. <clears throat> Sincere Jones, man. The title of this word is Small Armies Do Big Things. Let's get it. Show them how we give it up, baby. For real. Show them how we give it up. These people think we playing. Huh. Yeah. Shouts out to everybody praying for the squid eye. Right? Hey, yo, John. Almost got everything ready, son. You about to come. We about to set the booth on fire, dog. I got you. Huh. Yeah. Lord Jesus. All right, Lord, what direction you want me to go? I bet. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. This is how you work for the Lord. Huh? Saints out here scared to testify like you're seven years old. Can't even tell nobody God bless you even if they sneeze. Please. Damn. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it! Ah, I'm about to beast on this man. I'ma rip his head off. Grab your Bible. Come on, grab the yellow. Grab the yellow. Come on, we going in together, right? Teamwork makes the dream work, bro, right? Come on, baby, bro, get the yellow. Get the yellow. Get the yellow. The Lord said, get the yellow. All right. So today we'll be coming out of Judges, the seventh chapter. You know what I mean? We gonna be talking about the big homie Gideon. You know what I'm saying? In the real 300. Not no Leonidas. Not no this is Sparta. No, 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 no. This is Jesus. Amen. Because you already know they can't come up with nothing for themselves. They just copy the saints. You feel me? We got this. Let's go. Grab the yalla. Judges, the seventh chapter. Then we're going to go ahead, bro. I got everything Mizar. This, this is not a game. 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 Uh. Let's go. You thought I was playing? You thought I was playing? See them witches doing all of that? Thought I wasn't gonna make y'all so stupid. You finna suffer for the rest of your life. You finna suffer for the rest of your life. Cause even when God told you to stop, you kept on. And you kept on. And you kept on. Boy, every curse y'all ever threw at me, return to sender. Return to sender. God, God, God seen y'all in the court of heaven. Huh? There was a trial going on last night in heaven while y'all was sleeping. He ran the judgment and slammed that gavel down. And I'm not playing with you because you already feel it. He said guilty. 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 And you know. And you know. But you still got time and you still got grace. You better repent. And learn what being a true Christian is about. Before you mess around and get killed out here. God first. Let's get it, man. I'm ready to teach, Lord. You good on the music? Yeah, I'm ready to teach. I'm ready to teach, my G. I'm ready to teach. Hey, man, I'm not playing. Let me go ahead and open up my journal. You know what I mean? Let's see what the Lord got to say. And get the rest of my notes, y'all. Yeah. I already got the y'all in my hand. This is mine. All right. All right. So, if you would, if you would, please. Yes, we all want the smoke. King. Come on, King. You you know you about to have me acting wild on here. Y'all already know I can't contain myself. You know what I'm saying? Let me put this here so you guys can see me better. Can you guys see me better like this? Or you prefer it to be the other way? Put it in the comments. I think I'm gonna just leave it down here though. That's better. That's better. Goodness gracious, my lab is so spacious. Thank you, John. You know what I mean? My boy John O'Neill Dixon, a couple years back, he scooped me up. You know what I mean? We went out to the movies. I was having a real hard time in my wilderness season, and I have been in the same wilderness for a couple years, man. He told me that the Lord had a word for me, B. You know what I'm saying? That if I got my character right to the point where my character matched my name, I would start walking in the manifestations and the blessings that the Lord had for me. Thank you so much, John, for letting the Lord use you because we here. 
And guess what? We all want the smoke. Yeah. 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 If that's a little bit loud, I apologize. I'll fix my level in a second. Welcome to the show. Y'all ready to get started? Let's go. Okay, so the title of this word, again, word of the Lord, title, small armies do big things. Small armies do big things. Anybody in the remnant that want to be a part of this contingent, you feel me? Word up. Likewise, brother. See, that's how you show brotherly love and affection to people in the body of Christ. Thank you, brother. I'm watching your five as well. I got your back like a sweater. You already know. I'm right there beside you in the spirit. I don't care how hard it get. Shouts out to your wife and your kids. You know what I mean? Word up, man. Thank you for being a faithful servant of the Lord Jesus Christ and deciding to join us today on this live. Word. All right, B. And I'm getting in the studio with my boy right here. And I'm getting in the studio with my boy right here. So we'll be having some records soon. You know what I mean? We'll be having some records soon. Beautiful music is about to be made. Yeah. Turn off that garbage and show y'all how we sing these songs for the Lord. Amen. All right. All right. So let's get started here. Let's pray us in. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I came forth again before the people, God. I'm just here to feed them a little bit of your meat. The meat of your word, God. I pray that this would encourage, edify, uplift, build, and never break down. Admonish, rebuke, chastise, correct. And enable us to all reflect on our walks with you, God. The areas in which we could do better. The areas in which we're sharpened. And, and in all, you know what I'm saying? Just to be in awe of you, your power, your majesty, your greatness, your glory. We coming before you just to show gratitude, Lord. And we coming before you today, Lord, to tell you that we have our yalas ready. They are locked. They are loaded. We have our swords in our hands. We have beaten our plowshares into swords just like you've instructed us in your word wherever it is written. And Lord, we are ready to make war, and we want to smoke. We have sat idle long enough. We've been lukewarm long enough. So dear Lord, I pray that you would set me along with the remnant, the rest of the remnant that's watching this video. Even if it's on a little replay, God, even if they get it on the playback, it's cool. Set everybody on fire, you know what I'm saying? And please, Lord, cover this word in your precious blood. Don't let that scoundrel, that dragon, that idiot Lucifer blow his hot breath on it. Don't let any of the tears come against the wheat in this fold. Thank you for this sheepfold, God. Please allow me to feed them correctly. Help me to be diligent in my teaching, diligent in my learning, patient in my inquiries, and quiet so that I can listen to your still small voice when I'm no longer before the people. In Jesus' name, I pray and ask all these things. And I pray for the whole world, God. I pray for Iran right now, God. I pray that you would turn the hands, of, hands and hearts of every general Every single person in charge, every single person in the government, God. I pray you would turn the hearts of the United Nations back to you, God, by any means necessary. God bless the world and God bless America. Let's begin. Again, one more time, the title of this word will be Small Armies Do Big Things. One second, let me adjust my lighting real quick. I will be right with y'all. Lord told me fix the light. So I'm going to fix the light. And then we're going to get started. We're coming out of Judges. The 7th chapter. And I believe 1 Samuel. The 31st chapter. Those are the places where we'll be reading from the manual today. Amen. Let's see what the Lord has to say. First of all, let me go over there and adjust my lighting. Um, Y'all just give me a sec. I don't know how long it's going to take. I don't see the problem. But obviously, I ain't got the glow like Bruce Lee, so we're going to go ahead and adjust that. I'll be right back, y'all. I will be right back. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell a friend to tell a friend. We live, man. We want the smoke. Let's go. Let me just fix my light real quick, B. I got y'all. One second. Y'all can see the yellow better? Hold on. You just move this Alright, we'll help you. I ain't trying to drop this. Alright, what if I put it right here? Just good? Alright. Y'all hold on, I'm getting my 
my light adjusted. As y'all can see, it just got really dark in here. Y'all give me one second. I see light. You should've just let me plug up the both of them. Thank y'all so much for praying for us. Please keep praying. We're trying to build and we're working at the same time. But it's okay, you gotta keep your hand to the plow. Work while it's day. Amen. Alright. So I'm gonna preface this word, start it off by saying. Hey. You ever been ignored? You ever been the last pick for the team? Hmm? You ever said, you ever went to go play a pickup game of basketball? They said, yo, 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 we already got five on five players. You counting and you see three people on each side. Brother, that's not five on five. You still need two. I can't, I can't mean, get in again. Nah. You waiting on my man and all that. You know what I'm saying? You know they lying. You just want to play. They don't want you to play ball for whatever reason. So this is for all the saints and the remnant that never got a chance to play ball. Hmm? We assembling a little ragtag army at G1 Entertainment of young soldiers who are fire-breathing, fire-breathing dragons for the Lord Jesus Christ. All right? So if you never got a chance to serve, never got a chance to operate in your gifts, speak, Lord, never got a chance to showcase your talents, never got a chance to just have proper fellowship with the brethren, never felt accepted, always felt like an outcast in the body of Christ, well, guess what? We're here for you, and we want you on our team. So please, please, please join up with us. Once again, you can do that by hitting the follow button, hitting the like, commenting, subscribing to the YouTube channels and every other channels that we have available. If you got little wayward children that play video games all day, they want to be on Fortnite all day, okay, well, tell them Minister Jones is about to be on Fortnite to join them. We don't even have to push pause for me to put the gospel in their ear. You know what I mean? So we'll be streaming on Twitch pretty soon. The Lord keeps telling me to say that. So, you know what I mean? Twitch, we coming. Okay? Instagram, we coming. Patreon, are we coming? We coming. <laughs> we coming. Amen. He said, yeah. He said, yeah. <laughs> For real. Well, it's the last days now. So if you wanted a chance to step up, guess what? The Lord wasn't ignoring you. He wants you to know he heard every prayer that you ever said. You know what I mean? He heard every time you asked him. He seen every time that you grinned and bed when you was in the midst of trials and tribulation and things got funky. Okay? Well, the transition has happened. I like to call it a paradigm shift. You know what I'm saying? That means everything just spins around. You know what I mean? You woke up one day, the world was like this, and y'all was like this. All right? So all of them people who was in the front of the line getting blessed, that's cool and everything. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord wants us to know, man. Just like the latter day saints, be it's the latter day. So every saint that been in the back of the line, serving the Lord, in the cut, inconspicuously perched, putting in your work, hand to the plow, getting on the field, and not getting off. All of y'all young Nehemiahs, all y'all watchmen, we need you over here at G1 Entertainment. We want you. We gotta have you. We want you in this small army. Why? Because small armies. Do big things, okay? I started out this label with one other person. You know what I mean? Two people. I was ministering to a young lady who had a YouTube channel. Ten toes down in the struggle. This is how it happened. Then she told me about this young man. She just couldn't minister to him. His problem was just too severe, she said. It was too grave. It was way too much of an atrocity. It was just too sad, too horrible, and it left her with too much grief. I said, hey. I got a small pocket of believers over here. Go ahead. You ain't got to be trying to minister to 10,000 people in one day. You could go ahead and offload some of the people from your section and tell them sit over here in my club. You know what I mean? Come get some grub at the table with a real G. I said, sis, baby sis, baby sis, the Lord loves you, okay? I'm here to help you. I'm jumping in. I'm jumping in, okay? Because the devil was ragging her. Ragging her. I said, boy, 
Oh, you want to jump people? You want to jump people? You want to run up? You don't want to just run shorty her fade? Like a real man? Nah, because you a sucker. Okay? So since you want to jump people, I said, hold them down. Let me get some kicks in. Huh? And then I heard the Lord. Said, Michael, pin them down. Sit, sit. Keep them right there. I'm coming with the yalla. Okay? And this is not a joke. The Lord had a golden gun, son. A golden AK from heaven. He started busting shots against the enemy like this. You could think I'm playing. Bang. 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 Shouts out to Miss Brandy Harden. You know what I mean? What's good, mommy? We still going strong. Anyway, I took that young man under the, under my wing. And yes, his case was severe. Yes, it was bad. It was terrible. It was terrible. I'm talking about utterly terrible. This dude was bombed out and depleted. Super duper defeated, okay? That's how it was. I'm just telling y'all how it was, amen? Guess what? The young man went to school, got two t certificates, currently studying to get an accountant degree. He is the vice president of my label, huh? He's currently suffering from an infirmity. So we're going to pray together for his healing, and God's going to restore him to perfect health, the same way he did me. But now we run in his company. And G1, God first, and the children who keep God first. I know people had it twisted. I know they thought it was funny style out here. We've been running the world. So all y'all, wicked people, scoundrels, money hungry. Okay, you got all that money, and now there's nothing to buy. How stupid do you feel? You should have stayed with Jesus, amen? So now it's time for God's soldiers to take the scene, because they messed it up so bad, they don't even know what to do. Boy, they don't know they left hand from they right one, bruh. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all keep them, them prayers going up for Mr. Samson. Hey, who? The Lord working on his body. We was working, I you know mean, and praying, and the Lord fell down. Man, all of a sudden, he told me, oh, yo, my muscles feel like they loosening. Oh, snap, my back ain't so tight no more. Bro, my pain going away. So if we keep praying... That brother going to get up, and he going to take up his bed and walk. Anybody who just watched this for the first time, I had two strokes and a heart attack. Came out shaped like a pretzel. I'm talking about I was done off, son. Diagnosed retarded. Straight brain dead. Mad brain injuries. Had glaucoma. Was in college going blind with my boy John O'Neill Dixon right here. He was dead. So if you need somebody to bear witness and bear record, he can tell you, bro. Do you see glasses on my face? No. Okay? The Lord delivered that glaucoma right up out my eyes. He rebuked that infirmity. Boy, I ain't got 2020 vision. I got like 2050. You feel me? I can see through the walls. When I say I can see through walls, I can see through the natural into the spirit. We got the devil shaking in his boots. So everybody assemble. I want y'all to come around me. The Lord wants y'all to come at, around me like the Autobots. He said, he said, Autobots, roll out. Amen. You can, you can think it's corny. You can think we're playing. You can think it's a game. Watch how many babies come right behind me. Oh, you about to see. What did I tell you? Johnny, Johnny, baby. You got to listen to me when the young G talking to you. Okay? Didn't I say, John, because I know you're not a hater. You watch my show. You feel me? John is up to speed with us. That's why he said we all want to smoke. Okay? So he's up to speed. He knows what's going on. He ain't a hater. He ain't a hater. He's going to support the work of the Lord. You know what I mean? And shout out to you for your albums, B. You getting better and better. Your beats is fire. I love the artwork. Man, bro. I, I, look, 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 look. Me and you will break bread together and we'll fellowship when I'm finished. Okay? But, man, I got so much to tell you. I love you. You know what I'm saying? Tell your wife. Mwah, kisses from me. I send her my love as well. All right, and anybody who's just not joining us, would you be so kind to share this video, please? Would you be so kind? Can you do that favor for the Lord and just stop looking at me? Can you please? Because I'm going to be popular regardless. It's ordained. It's in my destiny. It's in my bloodline. And my bloodline fought for this. They got as far as they could. Okay? The Lord helped me break generational curses off my bloodline. That's why you don't see no glasses. The only glasses I ever had to put on is if the Lord gave me some fly stunners, which I don't even like. You know what I mean? Uh, or throw on my spiritual stunners. You know what I mean? And I see the devil right there. I'm telling you, this man is shooketh. He is shooketh. He is shooketh. We got him shooketh. JC Gang for Life. You know what I mean? I want to go ahead and say that too. JC Gang for Life. Shouts out to Sunray Speaks. Shouts out to Kingdom Obedience Ministries. Man, so many people. Shouts out to Simone, Sister Simone V. 
Go ahead, tap in with these people on YouTube. I promise that I will make the announcement about these people. You know what I mean? Jalen and Ashley Wilson. Shouts out to y'all. Shouts out to Miss Candace Hernandez. Shouts out to your husband. Y'all check these people out. Y'all check these young people out. We on here getting busy for the Lord. Where are you at? That's what the Lord want to know. He said, fall in now. I need all of y'all. I need all y'all. He said, one last big push for the kingdom. Because you know what this generation is? The generation of the fig tree. If you thought the world wasn't going to be over, boy, you stupid. Somebody lied to you, cuz. Somebody lied to you. The enemy wants to smoke. He wants to smoke. Trying to come at us with his creepy music. Talking about some. Lurking. Like this. Ah. Look at him. Roaring lion. Trying to devour Trying to devour. Here come the enemy, look. He think he won. He think he got us on the ropes, look. He's so cocky. Until we come through and pull out the yalu. Who won it? Who won it? Which one of y'all witches won it with us? We want the smoke. Uh-huh. We think you don't, you think we don't know that you was the cause of all our infirmities? All our sicknesses? All our pain? We think you don't, you, he thought we was deceived. He thought he deceived us. Let's show this man. Let's show this man how scary we are. Yeah. Hmm. Now you gotta deal with the real soldiers from the Lord's army. Huh? Now I want him to reach out and touch me. I want to give him a big hug. Full of Holy Ghost fire. Let's go. And I'm gonna set him on fire. Every time I say Jesus, you know what time it is, boy. Uh, God first. Nah! I see why the Lord told me to hook up this equipment. Thank you, Lord, for helping me be obedient. Amen. Sorry for being hard at it. I should have just listened. I was just trying to hurry up with the Yala because they be impatient. All of a sudden, they impatient. Your lives are too long. Why didn't you get the food from the church like you were supposed to? If you did, you wouldn't be coming over here. So I suggest you sit down, grab your Bible, and be quiet and strap in. Because you need this information more than you think. Amen? You need it more than you think. Okay? And I'm down to speak for the Lord till the whole world hear me. Y'all can act stupid like y'all don't know if you want. Boy, you're going to regret it, boy. You're going to be looking st st stupid for real. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and go to. Lord, you said do this first, right? Okay. Okay. So we're going to go to. We're going to go to. Everybody grab your yalas. You use virtual Bible apps, your Bibles, all that. Your highlighters, get your markers, get your papers, get your pens. Get your popcorn. You know what I'm saying? It's about to be. I got a movie for you. I got a movie for you. I'm not. I'm gonna say this word just as the Lord gave it to me and my team this morning. Let's go. Let's go. Now let me fix my levels. I know that's kind of loud. Yeah, slow down. Slow down, B. Slow down. Relax. You gotta relax. Y'all gotta relax. Okay. 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 First Samuel. The 30th chapter, we're going to start there, and I'm going to keep reading till the Lord tell me, stop. Okay? I'm going to keep going till he tell me, put a pen in it. I'm ready. Please send the rhema down, Father. Let's go. Okay. Thank you for joining us. First Samuel chapter 30, starting at verse number 1. Let's go. Title of this word. Small armies. Thank you, Lord, for reminding me to say it again. Do big things. That's small armies. Do big things. This is taking territory. Part two. Time for the plunder. Okay? A.K.A. to the victor goes the spoils. All right? Now let's go. Small armies do big things. Okay? I'm going to prove it to you here. All right? At the instruction of the Lord. Don't think that this is me. This is not motivated from my mouth. And before I start reading, thank you, God. He said to tell y'all, test the spirits to see if they're of God. Please go and come before my throne and make sure that, that my son is speaking properly. Don't just take his word for it. Because in the last days, says the Lord, many false prophets will appear. Talking about I am the Christ. In other words, I am a Christian. Okay? But inwardly, 
we find them to be ravenous wolves, amen? So you got to be careful. But now, if you know you're doing right, you ain't got to be scared of getting in trouble. If you know you're really working for the Lord, you will encourage people to test the spirits and ask God if it's really from him. It's only them fake pastors who be like, oh, you know, I don't know what that is. You know, I don't even believe in it. You know what I mean? But you could test me. You more than welcome to test my gangster. Go before the Lord and see if I'm really called to do this. We're going to see this popping. I don't know about y'all. I want to smoke. Let's get into the word. I want to smoke. Okay, Lord, that would be fire. I agree. Let's do that. Background music. All right, let's go. We about to go to war. We making war right now. You got to understand what I'm doing. We making war. This is how you make war. Okay? This is how you make war. Every time you hear that gunshot busting off, that's me spraying it in the air in the spirit. I'm calling the enemy to come out. I want to play. Come out and play. You didn't have no problem bothering me in the spirit last night when you had that big booty woman try to project in front of me. You ain't had no problem with that. And we don't show Pornhub no love over here no more. You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? AK, okay, small armies really do big things. I'm a living testimony. Okay, can I get another witness? Can I get another witness? Amen. 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 Because over here is God First Entertainment and JC Gang, meaning Jesus Christ Gang, for life. Gang, gang. Okay? Shouts out to that camp. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to that young um, young person leading that army over there. JC Gang for life. I'm down with the squid art. Right? I'm down with the squid art. Right? Alright, look, so we, you said loop it? I think I got it on the loop for it. Okay, well, I got a little loop. All right, turn it down a little bit. All right. Again, young people, listen up. Get your Bibles. If you don't have one, download it from the Play Store now. BYOB. That's the first rule to the game. Buy your own Bible, and now you can get it for free. So you have no excuse, because soon we all going to be standing for the Lord. The Lord. And we're going to be judged for everything that we did. Both the living and the dead. Okay? And you ain't gonna be able to skip your turn, young man. You ain't gonna be able to skip your turn, young lady. So like I said, be obedient to the man of God and download the Bible app on your phone and go with us right now. To First Samuel, chapter number 30, and join this small little ragtag army, this little contingent that the Lord is throwing together right here on the live ski. Be down with the G's down here at G1 Entertainment. Ain't that right, John? Let's get it. All right. Thus is the word of the Lord. I'm going to read it just as it is written here. I'm reading out of the King James Version. You know what I'm saying? So I got that pure. It's something like pure cocaina. This is the pure word of God right here. Some of them Bibles be fake. They be misusing translations, skipping words, misplacing commas, punctuation marks, and periods. This is the real thing, baby. This is the real thing, baby. So, you know what I mean? I got the yala. I got the yala. Okay, full of the white light of the Lord. Amen. Amen. The white light of the Lord. Not them white lights y'all witches be using. Nah, the light of glory. And who is the king of glory? Amen. Jesus Christ. Let's go. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. First Samuel chapter 30. I'll finally start reading. Verse 1. Let's go. And it came to pass when David and his men were come to Ziklag on the third day. Can you hear me okay over the music? Can you hear me okay over the music? Somebody please put it in the comments. Or matter of fact, that should be just fine right there. All right. And it came to pass, it is written, excuse me. And it came to pass when David and his men were come to Ziklag on the third day that the Amalekites had invaded the south. And Ziklag and smitten Ziklag, and burned it with fire, and had taken the women captive that were therein. They slew not any, either great or small, but carried them away, and went on their way. So David and his men came to the city, and behold, it was burned with fire, and their wives, and their sons, and their daughters were taken captive. Amen. Then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep. And David's two wives were taken captives, and of him the, of the Jezreelites, 
and I mean the Jezreel Lightus, yes, that's correct, and Abigail. There's some complicated names in this story, so forgive me. And Abigail, the wife of Nabal, the Carmelite. Okay, and David was greatly distressed, for the people spake of stoning him, because the soul of all the people was grieved in every man for his sons. And for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. Why were they so pissed at David? Because David is a winner. Amen. David is a fighter. This is the one who slew the lion and the bear. I believe he did that. I'm not sure. I may be getting him confused with Samson. Either way, two men of God that I love. So you say tomato, I say tomato. We'll check it later, okay? Um, but either way, this is David. The sheep, the uh, the sheep shearer, the young sheep shearer that that's from the house of Jesse, the one that wasn't picked for the team, the last pick for the team, amen. They wanted every other one of the brothers to be king, except for little old ruddy David, and David is still in heaven, reigning as a king right now, beside the Lord, screaming hallelujah, harp in hand, and all that, getting busy. You feel me? So look who won in the end, huh? And guess who the biggest loser is? Them, ha, huh? because he was the one who got the oil. So let's go. So now they see David lose. This is unfamiliar. For a city to be burnt down under King David. Oh, no. they like, surely this must be your fault. And what did it say? It said the people in Ziklag was ready to what? Stone him. Right? Stone him. Because they were that sad about what happened. They were that distressed about it. That they was ready to go ahead and get David out of there. They wanted to murk him. Captain Merkenstein. Sounding like who? The enemy. And what we got for him? The smoke. Let's keep going. Okay. So, number, number, verse number, what, what, Lord? Verse number four. Um, so David, no, verse number three. So David and his men, small, carried them away on the way. And the daughters was taken captive. Verse number four. I did that one. Then the people were lifted up. Okay. Five and David's two wives. Verse six. And greatly distressed. Lord, where we at? Okay. Verse number six. And David was greatly distressed. For the people spake of stoning him. Because the soul of all the people was grieved. Every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. The only person who kept his cool in the situation was David. Even when all the people wanted to kill him, what did he do? He went and he stilled the way with Jesus. He went and he stilled the way with Jesus. He didn't let them people get him intimidated. He didn't let them get him shook. So all y'all witches and unbelievers out there picking on Christians, you better hope that we don't know how to pray. You better hope we don't have no active prayer life. Because guess what? We some snitches over here. Guess who we telling on you? Jesus. And he's coming back with the what? The smoke. He said, nobody messes with any of my babies, says the Lord. <laughs> Amen, Lord. Thank you. Verse 7. Let's go. And David said to Abiathar, the priest, Elimelech's son, I pray thee, bring me hither the ephod. And Abiathar brought thither the ephod to David. And David inquired at the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop, and shall I overtake him? He said, Lord, you know what? They violated. I want the smoke. But I don't want the smoke unless you're going to go with me. So should I pursue them? Can we get the smoke? I want to blow their head off. That's what David said when he entreated or prayed to the Lord. Amen. And we're going to see what the Lord has to say about it. Let's see if the Lord wants the smizzle. You know what I mean? Let's see if he wants the smizzy. All right? Hold on. He said, and what did the Lord say? He said, verse number eight again. And David inquired at the Lord saying, I, should I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt surely, surely, surely. Look at David about to go take this territory. Sound familiar? Come on now, y'all join this army, man. I don't want to be in these territories by myself, man. You know what I mean? All these plush green valleys that the enemy done left to dry. Man, come on, man. We could plant and water. Amen? Exactly, Jesus gonna bring the glizzy. Thank you. He gonna bring the glizzy. He said, yes, my son, John. He said, my son, John. Yes, I'm bringing the glizzy. I'm not playing. He really saying this. He really saying this. He really saying this. He said, I'm bringing the glizzy because I want the smoke. 
the Lord busting the big yala. The big yala. I had the baby yala. He just busted out the big yala. Look. This is not a joke, man. Y'all can believe. Y'all don't have to believe none of these ways if you don't want to. I know where I'm going. Heaven. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Because I ain't on here for my health. Yes, I am. My spiritual health. Ha! Anyway. Let's go ahead. Dear Lord, you see me? I keep turning this page. You just let me wild out with this sword, man. Help me hold my sword properly, please. Thank you, Lord. So, he answered him, David, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them. And without fail. What did he say? He gonna recover all. Huh? Huh? Didn't I tell you I went into the enemy's camp on the last slide and ransacked his territory, didn't I? And I went back and got my stuff. And so I said, I said, now we finna go back into the enemy's camp one more time since I already did the whole mapping, got the blueprint, and we going with the Yala, and we going to get all y'all stuff. Okay, join this army. We finna storm the gates in the name of Jesus. Okay, look behind me. Bow, look around. He said, spin the camera around one more time. It don't matter how many times you do it. Stun on him. Stun on the enemy. Stun on the enemy. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at all the Yala. Look at it. Look at the Yala. I know y'all see that. Huh? We went in there and we plundered the enemy for me goods, bruh. We plundered him for every good. Every good and perfect thing of mine that he thought he could steal. Huh? 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 And I rolled up in there like David. After the Lord said I could pursue after the enemy, boy, when they thought I was finished, boy. They thought I was finished, boy. <laughs> they thought I was finished. Just when you thought it was safe, amen? I came in creeping. I came in creeping like this. I came in creeping. That's my car right there. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then I called my brother. He said, yo, I see house keys right there. I see an apartment right there. Uh-huh. I see a studio right there. He said, since here, that's all your stuff. I said, two guns up. I want the smoke! Oh! Uh. Woo! Two guns up, I want the smoke, you know what I mean? Went in there and took everything. He was in the corner. Yo, yo, please, please, not the face, not the face. Ah, ah, stop, stop, stop saying the name of Jesus. You burning me, you burning me. Yeah. This ain't no fake church. Huh? 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 Yeah, I was in there with the Draco in the spirit. Blast him. Golden Draco. Busting up the enemy. Give me my stuff. Give me my stuff. Ah! It's still more than shells on the ground. The shells are still on the ground. Anybody who can see it in the spirit, boy. Me and my mans went in there. Just the two of us. We slaughtered so many giants. Now I'm bringing the rest of the army. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is not a joke. Please take this serious. I want the smoke. All around the world, everybody watching, a black boy child of God, you ain't been getting your stuff, you feel me, you ain't, they done fired you from your job, you can't even put no food in the house, take authority, take authority, we gonna take authority, we gonna take authority, whether you like it or not, you ain't gotta like me, but you gonna let us worry. God first, back to the world. Back to the word. Woo! Woo! The Lord got me coming with that flame. He told me this was going to be fire. I'm going to mess around. Have to take this shirt off. Woo! Uh. Yeah. Let's get back into the word. All right. For y'all who want to know, we up to verse 9. And this is all real. Okay? If you call to the Lord, eyes up. Is up, eyes to see, is to hear. Open up the eye gate, open up the ear gate. Go ahead, get this word. Let me feed you. Let me feed you. Let me feed you. There's enough food in here for everybody, fam. Don't you see us walking in abundance? While the rest of the people who didn't want nothing to do with the Lord, you're going to starve in the name of Jesus. Until you give your life to Jesus, you're going to keep being hungry. Until you give your life to Jesus, says the Lord. Until you unrepentant Christians that thought you could go back into the world, you thought it was safe. Just when you thought it was safe, says the Lord. 
He said, y'all better come back over here. What you doing? You thought it was fun in the club, huh? You thought it was fun, huh? Spent all your money. Mad selfish. Could have helped everybody. You promised the Lord you would. You promised everybody. You promised the Lord and everybody else you would give it. You, Lord, if you just send me this car, give you a ride. I don't know. Well, the Lord said, we're going to go ahead and test that. We're going to go ahead and test that. He said, now I'm weighing out the balances, okay? He said, I'm putting it on the scale. And there's a black horse riding all around the world right now with two scales in his hand. Huh? Saying, a pity for barley and two shekels for freaking wheat. Huh? And he said what? Touch not the oil and the wine, huh? Read your Bible. Read your Bible. We want the smoke. Uh. Alright, let's go, Lord. Let's go, Lord. Verse 9. So David went, he and the 600 men that were with him, and came to the brook of Bezor, where those that were left behind stayed. But David pursued, he and 400 men, for 200 abode behind, which were so faint that they could not go over the brook to Bezor. So 200 of them had to stay behind because they was just too done or they was just too upset. Okay? They was too upset. So what did David do? Did he say you kicked out the army? No. He let them stay behind with the women and the children that were not pastured. Amen? And they waited right there at the brook. Huh? But David came through with a small army. He ready with his small army to do what? A big thing, bruh. A big thing. Let's see how this story turned out. Let's go. Okay? So, verse 10. But David pursued he and 400 men. But two hundred abode behind and were so faint that they could not go over the brook to Bezor. And they found an Egyptian in the field and brought him to David and gave him bread. And he did eat. Verse 12, it is written, and they gave him a piece of cake of figs and two clusters of raisins. And when he had eaten it, his spirit came again to him. For he had eaten no bread nor drunk any water three days and three nights. And David said unto him, who belonged this to whom belongest thou, and whence art thou, and whence art thou? And he said, I am a young man of Egypt, servant of the Amalekite, and my master left me because three days ago I fell sick. Okay, three days ago I got sick. He left me right here, dumped me in the middle of the wilderness with no food, no water. I ate in three days, dog. I ate three days. I ate three days. And watch what he said. He said, who, the Egyptian going to tell him exactly what happened. 14, this is the Egyptian speaking. Follow me. We made an invasion. We made an invasion. Invasion. Hold on. Verse 13. One second. Let me get this. Let me get this so I can run this right the way the Lord said. The enemy here. Don't touch my music, bro. What are you doing? I want the smoke, see? That's why you're getting your head blown up right now. You do too much. Don't ever try to interfere with none of my videos again in the name of Jesus. If y'all talk back to the enemy, y'all wouldn't have all these problems. Y'all over here scared of the devil but don't want to fear God. Y'all think God playing over there having fun with the devil. You having fun now? Stupid. Was it worth it? You better come back home, you dummy. All y'all prodigals who left the Lord. Now y'all ain't doing too good. And if you're doing good right now, the Lord said, I'm finna cut that short. Because in the last days, the first shall be last and the last shall be first. Okay, everybody thought y'all was reigning and ruling when y'all was out here flushing on all the rest of y'all brothers and sisters, biting and devouring, right? Hmm? Well, now the Lord said, get back, get to the back of the line. Get to the back of the line. Because you wasn't working for me with none of the resources I gave you anyway, bruh. And I blessed you before them. I hit you with the first ring. They getting the latter ring. Waiting in the back, talking about, Lord, where am I in that? Crying. But they still serve. And now they ready to be the first. So all y'all ragtag Christians, y'all dirty buns who don't even know how to fight with your dusty, spotty robes on the Lord said, get, get to the back of the line. You ain't shining bright enough. You ain't shining bright enough. And he wants me to let you know, he said, that was your choice. I told you not to depart. I told you not to let my word depart out of your mouth. I told you that. So now when you see miracles, signs, and wonders, you're going to be watching from the couch just like every other sinner who'll be stuck up in the house. I'm um, bars. Should have stayed with Jesus, stupid. Let's get back to the word and see what happened here. He about to snitch, by the way. The Egyptian, he finna run it. Why? All because David fed him. 
Huh? What did he do? Feed him. You could look at it as feeding an unbeliever the word. So in turn, he's an informant. This Egyptian is going to turn turn state on him. He about to turn state. Watch. He turned the state. Why? Because his master abandoned him. Huh? Wasn't even looking after him. So now he's snitching. David about to put this young man in witness protection. I'm not playing. He about to put him in witness protection. Check game. Check game. Follow along. Talking about the Bible boring. What's wrong with you? This story fire. And it really happened. Glory be to God. That's why I stay in my word. Uh-huh. I know you witches hate that. <laughs> All right, let's go. So, verse number 14. He about to snitch. He an informant. He turned state. The Egyptian says to David, We made an invasion upon uh, south of the Charites, and upon the coast which belongeth to Judah, and upon the south of Caleb, and we burnt Ziklag with fire. That's David's hood. Oh, ooh. and David said to him, Canst thou bring me down there to this company? And he said, Swear unto me by God that you will neither kill me nor deliver me into the hands of my master, and I'll bring thee down to the company. He turned state on him. He just snitched on his master. He just told David he burnt down Ziklag. You think he don't know Ziklag is David's hood? He know that's David's hood. Huh? And he know David want the what? David want the smoke. David want the smoke. You messed around, took the wives and the children for no reason. Then you gonna burn down the city? Oh, fam, you finna die, die. You ain't about to die. You about to die, die. You about to die, die. See, that's what happens when you touch the anointing. The Lord told you to not put your hands on us. Anyway, next. Fifteen. And David said to him, Canst thou bring me down to the company? Look how much of a gentleman David is. He's such a gentleman. We couldn't handle that if that was us. We would have been, Show me where them rucker ruckers is at right now. David, can you show me where they at, y'all? Yo? Think you could, you know what I mean? Take me over there? Real smooth wins. Gentle as a dove, shrewd as a snake. Take notes. Yeah, they scared now. You know David about to pull out the yalla, don't you, Johnny? About to pull out the yellow. And that's the same thing we about to do. That's the same thing we about to do. Alright, let's see what happens next, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So 16. And when he had brought him down, behold. They were spread abroad all the earth, eating and drinking and dancing because of all the great spoil that they had taken out of the land of the Philistines and out of the land of Judah. Ooh, the devil always want to claim victory early. He always want to claim the victory early. Oh, we got him. Let's party. Let's drink. Let's smoke. We about to get lit. Oh, they thought it was a party. It's a party. It's a party. It's a party. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. They really thought it was sweet. They thought it was sweet. They thought it was sweet. Watch how David come through and cancel Christmas on him when he pull out the yama. I want the smoke. I'm not like the rest of y'all lazy Christians. I'm not like y'all. You know what I mean? I want the smoke with the enemy for real. He really broke my body in half. He really took my mother away from me. I really don't know where my father is. Well, I know where my father is. Shouts out to Jamaica, bro. You know what I mean? I hope my papa see this one day, bro. I hope he really do. But my mom, she's deceased, bruh. What? Two strokes and a heart attack? And you think I don't want to smoke? Huh? My mother, my foster mother laid up in the hospital room right now suffering from an infirmity, bro. Whole family is on edge right now. I want to smoke. We don't even know where my big sister is, B. She's off the radar, vanished, disappeared. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully she ain't transitioned. We don't know. I want the smoke. People talked about me, lied, said I wasn't a man of God, wasn't preaching, I was stupid, I was dumb, I was retarded, I was brain dead, I was this, I was that. All that time, guess what I was? Quiet. Because the Lord had me loading up these yallas. So don't worry. I'm going to take care of that. And you're going to help me. Because now... They just won't get off you. I want the smoke. 
the Lord in here with me now. Try it again. And he told you on all the mother lives I made last summer. He said, try it again. And you were stupid enough to do it. You're dumb. Don't ever test the Lord's patience again. If you know what's good for you. And I'm going to show you an example of what happens when you touch the when you touch the anointed. When you touch the Lord, our God. Huh? Huh? I'm going to show you. David is going to show you. I'm not going to show you. It's recorded here. It's in the contract. This book is alive. It works. It works. If you work it. I want to smoke. Let's continue on. Okay. So what happened? Boom. And he said, he said, so what was they doing? What was they doing? He said, they were spread abroad upon all the earth, eating, drinking, and dancing because of all of the great spoil, all the stuff they stole, and that they had taken out of the land of the Philistines and out of the land of Judah. Okay? 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 This is why this is about taking territory. This is why this is about getting your stuff back that the enemy stole. Now, you could get cocky and prideful. He ain't take nothing from me. I still got my joy. You're supposed to have more than joy. You're supposed to have peace. You're supposed to have prosperity. The Lord desires for you to prosper as your soul prospers. So ain't nothing in your house supposed to be broken. Your car ain't never supposed to be running out of gas. You ain't never supposed to be running out of money. You always supposed to have substance. Your children are supposed to be waking up and calling you blessed. Okay? So if, if any of those things are not happening in your life right now, fam, the enemy took your stuff and he over there partying like a rock star with it. Okay? But this is not no carnal battle. This ain't no regular fight. It don't take it takes more than fisticuffs to swing on the devil. You're gonna have to use that sword, put it in your mouth, and get up on here just like me and tell him it is written. And until you speak with some authority and you put some bass in your voice, let me tell you how much you're getting back from the enemy. Nothing. 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 You gotta go up to him with that fire in your eyes. Yo, bro, you got to tune into the live. You might as well just fast, I mean, rewind it back and watch from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? So you don't got to ask me why I'm so angry. You know what I'm saying? Then you could go ahead and you'll get angry with us. You'll be upset at the enemy too. You know what I'm saying? But y'all joining my lives all late. You know what I mean? No. No. You got to hit that follow button so you'll be uh, tapped in. You'll know notification and you don't be getting in in the middle of, middle of this service. You know what I mean? And then you'll know. Then you'll know. Or you can just watch it on the playback. And um, if you don't mind, you know what I'm saying, please share it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody welcome Mr. Alexander John Ortiz, another big homie of mine. Welcome in, my homie. Welcome in, my homie. So if you would like to follow along with us, sir, right now we're reading First Samuel. The 30th chapter, and we are currently at, what verse? We at the, let me look. We're at the 16th verse. That's for anybody just joining us. First chap, First Samuel chapter 30, beginning at the 16th verse. And so they took David's stuff and everybody's stuff from Judah, you know what I'm saying? And they was partying. They thought the, the fight was won. They thought the battle was over. Amen. But what happened? And David smote them from twilight meaning from 5 o'clock in the afternoon even unto evening of the next day boy he was out there giving them the smoke he said what you want to steal my wife you want to got you got my men and my women ready to stone me I'm David boy I slew Goliath you bugging oh yeah I'm pulling out the y'all on y'all right David went and made war he wasn't like us scared Christian let the devil take everything don't even know how to fight him don't even want to fight back. And then we want to cry and complain and grow jealous and bitter of our brothers and sisters who are what? In alignment, getting their stuff like they're supposed to. That's standing strong against the enemy to subdue him. Straight up. Straight up. Don't be mad, bro. Don't be mad. The Lord has 10,000 blessings in his hand to satisfy the poor. But you ain't going to get that being no casual Christian, son. No. You either on fire or you get spit out. You know what I mean? And the Lord's stomach hurt, and he said he's ready to throw up in the name of Jesus. Boy, this is not a game. This is not a game. This is crazy. This is crazy. Wow. Dang, Lord. All right. Verse number 17, let's continue. And David smote them from twilight, even into the evening of the next day, and there escaped not a man of them, save 400 young men which rode upon camels and fled. And David recovered all, just like God said he would, 
that the Amalekites had carried away. And David rescued his two wives, and there was nothing lacking them, neither small nor great, neither son nor daughter, neither spoil nor anything that had been taken them. David recovered all. Look at me, sitting here, walking in God-given sovereignty and authority. If you want your stuff back, you can follow me. I'm sorry if the videos is too long, you can pardon me. But I told God he could use me with every part of my heart in me. So I don't care if it's rap, hip-hop, or r and I'm a praise. Until I get everything back and everything in my life is going the Lord's way. That's what we doing. Bars. Let's go. New album. Let's go. We're going to get it all back. Everything the devil stole. Let's go. All right. Okay. Where we at now? Where we at now? Where we at, Lord? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. And David recovered all. And, okay, David recovered all. Verse 20. And David took all the flocks and all the herds which they drave before these other cattle and said, This is David's spoil. Once he won the battle, to the victor goes the spoils. Huh? To the victor goes the spoils. He said, All of this is mine now. Since you want to play me, you want to bother my family, my women, my children, and mess with the Philistines? I got some homies over there in that Philistine camp, bro. I trained their hands to do battle, bro. Those are my cousins in them. Y'all want to come take our stuff for no reason? When you could have stayed in dirty, sandy, drab, dry Egypt? Y'all want to try to run up? You think, okay, so now I want your house. Now I want that car. Now I want that. Now I want your money. Now I want your job, since you want to steal stuff in the name of Jesus. Since you want to steal stuff in the spirit, y'all want to be jumping front fences in the spirit with the wet, the rest of your little wolf buddies. Now we want to smoke. So that job you stole from me, that government position, yeah, you going to run that. You going to run that. That's going to be returned to me a hundredfold. Y'all going to watch it happen. Right here on the lie. Every miracle I speak out of my mouth going to come to pass. In the name of Jesus. Why? Because I'm in alignment. Amen. So, Wellstar, you finna run me that check back. Thank you. Not that I need it or anything. It's just that I know that the enemy was the reason why I lost that. So, uh, I already took it back from him. So, whenever they give me that call, I'm definitely gonna let y'all know, B. Alright? Because that territory been mine. You ain't taking nothing from me without a fight. I ain't going down without a fight, bruh. And y'all witches and y'all warlocks, you got to come harder than that, baby. Y'all thought, thought, thought God was done? Just when you thought it was safe, baby. The Lord popped up with the yellow. Said, don't touch my son. Touch my son one more time and see what happened. I'll kill you. That's word the mother. You know what I'm saying? They know what happened. They know what happened. Pulled out the yellow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And all I was trying to do was preach. Yeah. Yeah. Came up to me breathing breath and ha, ha. I saw y'all all in the spirit, dummy. I know who all y'all are. And y'all in trouble. Have fun eating that ramen, B. Have fun. I hope it was worth it. Hope it was worth it. Don't ever try to touch one of the Lord's anointed again. I don't care if it's a little five-year-old boy. If you know he's saved and he loved Jesus, you better not bother that baby. It don't matter if it's a 32-year-old man like me or an older woman in her 80s. Boy, if she Christian and she called to the Lord, boy, y'all better stop playing the Lord pulling out the yala. He said this is going on for far too long now. Government corrupt. They trying to kill every baby. Every baby. Huh? They trying to trample over the institution of marriage. For what? Gay people want us to be all in their business. I ain't got nothing against people who are homosexual and practice that lifestyle. But I don't need to know what you're doing in the bedroom, bro. Why y'all, why y'all think y'all so fly, like so flagrant, just with it, just, why can't y'all just be normal citizens and just live your life regular, we don't care what you doing, bruh, you only making yourself look stupid, y'all gonna go out like Juicy, you wanna go out like Juicy Smooth, yay, yeah? you see how he went out, right, huh, thought he was stuck, I'm the gay Tupac, where you at now, where's Juicy, where's Juicy, to the empire, Where's Juicy? Where's Juicy? I'm just making a point. I don't gay bash. I don't do none of that. Okay? It's like, would y'all want to know every time I go to the bathroom and take a doodle? Huh? Do y'all need to know everything I'm doing like that? No, bruh. No, bruh. 
I'm on here to give the word and I'm giving it off. I'm getting off. Amen. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Now follow along. Yeah, it's spiritual warfare. This is how you make war with the enemy. You got to get mad. You got to say, I'm a human being. I'm a child of God. My life has worth. My life has value. I don't have to stay in the wilderness. Boy, I know the Lord came and gave me everything and the enemy stepped in, bro, when I was asleep and sowed tears among the wheat. And he stole all my stuff. That's why I'm mad. We have to take authority. You understand? Christians think we can just live a linear life worrying about us. We are called to help the world. So even if you have all your things, God bless you. You know what I mean? But somebody doesn't. Somebody's suffering. Somebody's crying. Somebody's lost and they don't know the Lord. So until we start getting angry, the world is going to keep being ransacked and made into a garbage dump. Until we start doing something, ain't nothing going to pop off. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to stand for the Lord even if I stand. I have to stand all by myself. I'm not begging y'all to share no videos no more. I don't care. If you were smart, you would know every time you do that, you're sowing the seed to the Lord because it's obvious he put me on here. So every time you share it, you're sharing the gospel, dummy. But because it's me. Hello, is it me you're looking for? Obviously not. Then tell your pastor to preach it. Tell him to preach it. Tell him to preach it. He got all these seminary degrees, right? You done went to 16 schools. You went. I went to seminary in Paris, London, Tokyo, Japan. I read 17 Bibles and I wrote 86,000 books. Yeah, but I know one book you won't preach on. Revelations. Yeah, but I know one thing you won't do. Teach the church spiritual warfare. Why the Lord got me on here teaching y'all how to plunder the enemy's territory? Because they don't love you. So join up with my army. We finna get all this back. Shouts out to Mr. Alexander Davenport. What's poppin', B? Thank you for sharing the video, fam. You know what I mean? All right, y'all. I lost my place, y'all. The enemy try to come with the y'all. Look, I got it right back. Six flips and I was back there. Seven, matter of fact, because everything is complete now. We want the smoke. Tired of this. I'm tired of seeing babies dying for no reason. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of seeing no food in the stores and then every time they ask the question in the press conference attain it to our good because we paying our taxes, bro. We can't even get potholes fixed in the city of Atlanta. I'm not supposed to be angry. Why? Because it was supposed to be Christians in those government positions. We supposed to rule in the high places. So come up a little higher now, says the Lord. He says, come up a little higher. I want to give y'all them position because them people don't know what they're doing. They so corrupt. All the corruption in the White House, says the Lord, is about to be exposed. Mr. Biden. Mr. Biden. Mr. Biden. You. Yeah, the Lord has a word especially for you, sir. You know what you did. You gave the United States of America right into the enemy's hand, didn't you? No, you thought so. So the first place that the bomb is going to drop is going to be right on the White House when Iran comes to uh, invade America. Y'all can keep acting stupid like we all good. It ain't nothing going to happen. Bro, you need to watch the news and you need to watch it prayerfully so the Lord can reveal these things to you. And somebody, a saint that season don't got to get on here and tell you and have you scared. Now all the y'all are in fear, right? God didn't give us the spirit of fear. Read your Bible and stay in the house instead of trying to fraternize and mess with everybody else. That's what they know that you a Christian. They might put on and act like they like you because you have substance in this hour and in this season. But bro, go ahead and start speaking the word of God. See how quick they get you up out their house. See how quick they don't invite you to any more uh, get together. See how quick they be asking, yo, you vaccinated? Cause like, um, everybody in here vaccinated. Like, if you ain't, like, we got love for you, but you gotta go. They ain't trying to kick you out. They trying to kick Jesus out the house. And this time, I want you to get your stuff, get your car keys, get your purse, get your pocketbook, get your book bag, and grab your yarn and go home. And go home. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But of love, power, and the sound mind. Amen. It is written. God didn't give us the spirit of fear. And y'all sure wasn't scared before COVID got here. So don't be scared now, says the Lord. You wasn't shook when I was trying to call you back to repentance and be gentle. But guess what? The God said he's a God of mercy, but he's also a God of wrath. And there's a specific group of people who have been appointed for God's wrath. And they've already been sealed. Their fate has already been sealed. If you don't come out of Babylon, says the Lord, 
and begin to find people in the remnant. And if you do not repent, this goes for all of you Christians watching these videos. The Lord said, you will share in that judgment and you will drink the same dregs from the cup of wrath that they will sip. And he said, because the time is short. Time is short. If I come back in the, in the, in the morning, if I come get you in the middle of the night, who I'm going to catch working? Y'all can talk about sincere all he want. He, all y'all want. He on the live working. He just said he was up all night fighting the devil. Came right back at 12 o'clock in the afternoon when I told him to go on live. Didn't even complain. Got dressed, threw his clothes on, cleaned up his office, and he came back on the live being obedient. And y'all tried to lie and say he wasn't called? This is my servant. He said, behold, this is my son in whom I am well pleased. And anybody who's not a hater, says the Lord, knows he's doing an excellent job on these videos. So stop not liking his video, says the Lord. The least y'all can do when the man of God is putting in work, y'all can at least like the video. That's all he's asking you to do. You just want to get the information and don't want to give nothing back. And you wonder why your money's running out. You wonder why you don't have no food in, the ch in, in your house. Because you're supposed to feed the man of God. You feed the man of God, then your house is blessed. Okay? You would know that if you would have stayed in the Bible and didn't try to chill with everybody else in the world. Speak, Lord. Because the Lord will always defend his babies. He always going to defend his babies. Amen. Out of the mouth of babes comes what? I'm a baby compared to y'all season saints that he rebuking on here. I'm a baby. I only been around for three decades. What are y'all doing? Get yourself together for the Lord pull out the y'all in pocket. Let's continue. Then we're going to talk to the big homie Gideon. I don't care if, if y'all was getting fed, God wouldn't have me on here for hours at a time. Okay? But for anybody who appreciates this, you welcome. You're welcome. It's a privilege. Thank you. All right. There's no skin off my neck. God paid me for this. Again, the Lord pays me for this work. So it's cool. I don't care. He would have paid y'all pastors too. Okay. Okay. The Lord said he needs y'all pastors to come out of fornication. Come out. All of that stuff you're doing, fraternizing with the sisters in the congregation, he said, you better stop, boy. I've been watching you this whole time. I'm God. I don't sleep on the job, he says. Speak, Lord. He said, I don't slumber or sleep, bro. Everybody makes mistakes and my mercy is for the humble. But if you just want to do something because you think you can do it and you got that much power, you're beside yourself. Who gave you a reprieve or a special pass? You're not special. Same rules that apply to my son Sincere. Same rules that apply to every other young person that watches live. Apply to you. So, if you don't want to take heed, you will share in the judgment. You don't have to repent, says the Lord. You can keep on. Keep on. Keep on thinking I'm playing, says the Lord. It's all good. Okay? And you're going to end up somewhere you don't want to be, says the Lord. And a lot of y'all already have. And you can't get out. Let's go. I'm just finding my place. Okay, so David recovered all. Okay? And now David recovered it all, and he said, yo, this is my spoil now. You know what I'm saying? Okay? He said, this is my spoil. Now I want all of this. This is David's spoil. Verse number 21. All right, bro, you can catch the rest on the, on, on the replay. Thank you so much for joining us today, man. Love you, man. Be safe at work and all that. Make sure you make it home. You know what I mean? Word up. Y'all bid farewell to John. John, thank you for joining us. It was a privilege to have you, sir. Thank you for engaging in the comments. And God bless you, son. God bless you. God first. All day. Two guns up. Peace out, brother. Two shot salute. Let's go. <clears throat> Thank you for joining me today, cat. Word. Okay. Now, let's get back to the word. All right. Let's go. And David, too, he said, this is my spoil. And David took all the flocks and all the herds. Look at him. Taking the territory by what? Force. He took it by force. He sat there and slaughtered them from morning till the next evening. He murked them. Got busy on them. You understand me? 
from morning to evening, and David took all the flocks and all the herds which they drave before these other cattle, and said, This is David's spoil. And David came to the two hundred men, which were so faint that they could not, so sad that they could not follow David, in other words, whom they had made also abide at the brook of Bezor. And they went forth to meet David, and to meet the people who were with him. And, the, and when David came near, the people saluted them. Then answered all the wicked men of Belial, or whatever that says, Belial, verse 22, of those that went uh, with David and said, because they went not with us, we will not give them aught any, in other words, we will not give them any of the spoil that we have recovered, save every man, his wife, and his children, that they may lead them away and depart. Meaning, since they didn't want to go fight with them, since since they was um since they didn't want to go fight, so forth and so on. You know what I mean? Um, just let them go ahead and go home because they ain't put in the work. Watch how David responds. This is why David is king, and those wicked men are not. Okay, because David always has a merciful heart. David had a merciful heart. You don't believe me? I'm gonna show you. What did David say? Let me show you what David did right here. This is how you're supposed to respond. Okay. They didn't, the only reason why those other men didn't come fight was because they were too grief stricken at the loss of their wives and their children. You gotta understand, they just came back from fighting a long campaign and a battle with a different army, with a whole nother army. Uh, and on top of that, David is being pursued by, was being pursued by Saul. I think, I believe he's dead now, but he just was being pursued by Saul. His son Absalom just tried to take the throne. These men are tired. They don't do nothing but fight. In all the chapters of Samuel, all their life they had to fight. You think you're talking about the color purple? Let's talk about brother David. All he did was have to fight war after war after war after war, bro. Y'all don't even want to fight one war for the Lord. You don't want to war for the enemy with the enemy for your finances. You just let him keep you broke. You don't want to war with the enemy to find a good church. You just find every excuse to stay home on Sunday. Like, what are you doing? You have to push back. You can't just sit here playing I Dream a Genie thinking everything is sweet. You know what I'm saying? If you want your stuff from the Lord, you got to go get it. Amen. Nobody's playing. David went and got it. David went and got it. And it said he cut the army in half. 200 people had to stay behind. It was only 400 men. What did I tell you? The title of this word is small armies. Do small things. I need to build an army around me. So if the Lord is drawing you to this channel, son, come on. I got the yellow for you. Okay. Then he said, they said, take, let them take all of the, let them just get their wives and kids and go home because they ain't put in no work. You know what I'm saying? They, and, and don't give them aught of the spoil that we have recovered. Save every man his wife and his children, that they may lead them away and depart. Then David said, Ye shall not do so, my brethren, with that which the Lord hath given us, who hath preserved us and delivered us the company that came up against us into our hand. For who will hearken unto you in this matter? He said, who even listening to what you saying? You over here thinking that it was you? You thought it was you, fool? You thought that was the reason why you won the battle? Because you're so strong? Because your muscles are so big? He said, the only reason why we won this battle is because the Lord delivered it in, them into our hand. So this spoil don't even belong to me or you. This is the Lord's. So shut up. He told him to take a nice tall glass of shut up juice. And he said, drink it. Drink it up. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? He said, boy... I'm King David. You ain't running nothing. So now, oh yeah, just let them take in and put in no work. I gave them permission to stay behind. They were too weary to fight. If they, if I would have made them come with us, they would have been so vulnerable that we would have had to protect them and we all would be dead, you dummy. Now shut up and play your position. You a soldier, not the commander. He put him in place real quick. What is that called? Authority. Once again, David took authority because obviously you know the enemy was using those young men to go, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Duh, the devil is always sitting there among the righteous. You know what I mean? Don't get caught slipping, man. You might not make it back out. You're taking God too lightly now, man. Okay. Okay. David said we're not doing that. 24. 
For who will hearken unto you in this matter? Who gonna listen to you in this matter? But as his part that as for his part that goes down to the battle, so shall his part be that tarries by the stuff. They shall part alike. Meaning everybody getting the same amount, so you could be quiet. Whether you fought or not, you getting the same amount, because we family. I'm feeding everybody. Shut up. That's what David told him. And it was so from that day forward. Why? Because David said it. He took territory. He didn't just let that go unchecked. Okay? He might have had to fight a lot of battles. People might have tried to, excuse me, tried to take the kingdom from him or whatever the case. Not happening, bruh. Not happening, bruh. Not happening, bruh. He fought. And, it, and I'm going to fight just the same for y'all. I'm going to fight just the same. Come on. the Lord is. I'm not the only David that the Lord is raising up in this hour. I'm not the only Joseph that he raising up in this hour. Amen. Huh? Huh? Where the remnant at, man? Shouts out to y'all. All the children out there holding up your yallas for the Lord. We love you, man. Come be a part of this channel. We would love to have you. Anytime, man. Anytime. We would love to have you. Okay? Because we need some good and faithful soldiers to the Lord. Amen? We can't do it alone. It was only two of us, me and my mans. We got this far with the Lord. Now that we plundered the enemy's camp and got our stuff, what we want is for you to come get yours too. But you might need a little help. So let me go in there with you. Because I got the enemy shook it. I got this man on the ropes. He like... I want the smoke. I'm not playing. That's how you take territory. Just like David did. Alright? So, he said, you're not doing that? And so, and, and guess what else David did? Because he king. He going to show this dude that he ain't no king and he don't make no rules. Because watch, David is king. Watch. He going to show him that he king. Verse 25. And it was so from that day forward that he made a statute. It is statute in an ordinance for Israel unto this day. And when David came to Ziklag, he sent of the spoil unto the elders of Judah, even to his friends, saying, Behold, a present for you, the spoil of the enemies of the Lord. They didn't even know David went out to fight. He just came back with the stuff. And what did he do? Bless the whole squid eye. He didn't say, you can't get this, you can't get this. He said, I got a present for everybody. Watch. To them which were in Bethel. And to them, what is David now? The lender, not the borrower. What is David doing? Taking authority. So he's showing everybody that he's above and not beneath. That he's the head and not the tail. And he's telling them. He's the youngest in charge. He's the youngest in charge. Okay? And he didn't take his charge lightly. He didn't take his charge and start smacking people around with it. He didn't do that. He's showing everybody love. To them which were in Bethel, 27. And to them which were in South Ramah. And to them that were in Jitar. And for them that were in Aror. And to them that were in Siphon. And to them that were in Estomoa. And to them that were in Rachel. And to them that were in the cities of Je Je the Jeremiahites. And to them that were in the cities of the Kenites. And to them which were in Horma. And to them which were in Shorazan. And to them which were in Atash. And to them that were in Hebron. And to all the cities and all the places where David himself and his man were wont to haunt. Thus is the word of the Lord for today. There was more, but we're not trying to stretch the video more than it already has been. So this has been my time for the hour. I'll be happy, more than happy to come before y'all with the next section. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm going to introduce one of my favorite prophets from the Bible to y'all. His name is Gideon. Okay? Just a precursor and a prelude now that we're finished. In the next word, we'll be talking about a prophet named Gideon. Gideon... Gideon was just as, just, he was, he, I'm going to just be honest. Gideon was a nobody. The Lord said he wanted to use him. Pulled up on him with the yala. Said, yo, I want you to deliver Israel from the hand of the Midianites. Gideon did not think he was strong enough. Gideon didn't think he was brave enough. He didn't think he was tactful enough. He thought the Lord was bugging. Everybody says it's not okay for you to question God. Okay.
as a man who's sitting in this territory that the Lord gave me, I want you to know I have a close personal relationship with God and he allows me to ask him as many questions as I want. How are people telling y'all that lie and you believe in it when the Bible says pray without ceasing? What is praying? It's asking. Ask, seek, knock, and the door will be what? Open for you? Isn't that the rule of thumb when it comes to the Lord's Prayer? Okay, he's giving you the acronym right there. Eh, eh, eh. Mystery alert, spiritual eyes, spiritual ears open. If he just said ask, and then he says ask, seek, knock, what is he telling you to do? Ask. If you can't question God, what about the parable of the persistent widow that went before the unjust judge? Hmm? She went, yo, I need you to hear this case for me. Yo, I need you to hear this case for me. Yo, my case, yo. And she said, yo, until you hear my case, I'm going to come back the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. You know why? Because she was determined not to let anybody take her territory. Now sit back and ponder today while you're at work, at home, talking on your verbal apparatuses. Think about how much stuff we let the enemy rob us of. And I'm not just talking about the, the linear things that we expect. Oh, he robbed me of my peace. He stole my joy. First of all, you let him do that. We all got something to be happy about. You woke up this morning, stupid. So anything you're going through is not that serious. Okay? But I'm talking about robbing you of your calling. Robbing you of your God-given authority. Robbing you of your blood-bought rights as a Christian. Because there ain't nobody who the enemy want to plunder more than us. You understand? So don't be no goofy out here. Start taking God serious. Because when I started taking God serious, I've been taking God serious. But I had to go ahead and get that back from the enemy, son. You know what I'm saying? Was I a little bit fearful? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Because at first, I went into hell by myself. I saw all my stuff down there. I saw my car down there. That's why everybody who know me know I've been living in lack. That's why y'all thought it was cool to talk about me, right? I told because I kept telling them the Lord had the yala and he was going to give it to me. But everybody laughed. You idiots. Look at me now. You dummy. You dummy. I might not be as affluent as you. I might not be as influential as you. But I'm a Christian and you are too. So for you thinking that I wasn't entitled to something and you was, that's sure. Go ahead and go back home to your dad. Because you ain't no Christian talking like that. Real Christians, real people in this small army that the Lord has left named the Remnant. Nah, in the Remnant, we don't get down like that. In the JC gang, we don't get down like that. We uplift. We build up. And the only thing we tear down over here is strongholds from the enemy, fam. Because he won't bust a grape. He won't bust a grape. He won't bust a grape. But y'all keep letting him talk in y'all ear. And y'all think he's so tough. Y'all think he's so tough. And all y'all got to do is stand in authority. What authority? The authority Jesus Christ gave you. For that's the name above every name. And above, at that in the mention of that name, every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess. It's right here in the contract. It's right here in the contract. Excuse me. I will not be interrupted in the name of Jesus. I will not. I will not. All right. I'm going to read this last scripture to y'all about taking authority. This is from our big brother James, the big homie James. All right. We're going to see what James got to say about it. All you got to do is use the contract. As long as you learn your word, you got to learn your word. And then every time the enemy come at you or something go wrong, you hit it with that. It is written. And you fight until the battle is won. You fight until the battle is won. David fought all night. All the way into the next day. And he straight slaughtered him. And what did he do after that? Took the territory. He said, all this spoil belongs to David. Boop, boop. I spoiled the enemy. I spoiled the camp of the enemy. But let me read this to you first. And then I'm going to show you what I got when I went into the enemy's camp. And I invaded his territory. I just went and got my stuff. I'm going to keep telling y'all. Because God wanted me to tell y'all this. I went and got my stuff. Okay? Everybody wrote me off, thought I was a bum. You know what I'm saying? X straight treated me like the spawn of Satan, bruh. Like, people out here know what it is, B. Nobody was expecting me to bust out with the Yala and this big manifestation, bruh. I ain't, but I'm a real man. I tell you, I ain't do this by myself. That's word to these clouds. That's on my sweater. Everything in here came from heaven. 
Everything in here. It's just that the enemy stole it because I had legality, giving him legality by what? Being addicted to porn. Huh? That gives him permission to take your stuff. It gives him permission to discourage you. Huh? It gives him permission to rob you. It gives him permission to pray, I mean, um, for your prayers to be hindered and, and I'll be it. Stop. Did I know that? No. I was ignorant to the devil's devices, huh? And I was trying not to, you know what I'm saying, put my family on blast. I didn't want to pull out the yala. But the Lord said, pull out the yala and tell everybody what happened to you. You got people out here calling you out your name. I'm not having none of that. You one of the most handsome young men in the world. I know, because I made that beautiful face of yours. I'm not going to have nobody saying my son is a homosexual, says the Lord. I'm not going to have nobody saying that. I'm not going to have nobody thinking he a effeminate male. And for all y'all men who believe them lies about him, instead of lifting your brother up, guess what? Uh-huh. Wait till you see his wife, says the Lord. Wait till you see his wife, thinking he playing. He already released a word about it, says the Lord. But y'all don't want to watch his videos. So, I'm going to continue to let him take his territory. And then when his wife get here, she going to help him. Know what I mean? And she's going to do what that last one didn't want to do. Didn't want to do nothing. Didn't want to help. Didn't want to help. I don't care what you say, says the Lord. The Lord said, I, the Lord, was there. I seen it. Don't want to help him drive, learn, nothing, nothing, nothing. Please. Guess where Michael was? He stayed in his word and he trusted me. He knew everything I was doing saying all them gifts, says the Lord. Now this territory is his dominion. Period. And if you want to know, test the spirit and see if it's of God, says the Lord. Come before my throne and see if I really called this boy higher. Stop assuming for yourself before I pull out the yala, says the Lord. Because when y'all pastors who doubting if I really sent them on there, when y'all started preaching, then nobody think y'all was called either. The least y'all could have did was help them. Foolish. Foolish, wicked servants. Stop, the Lord says to tell me, to tell y'all to stop before I appoint you a place in the place of torment with the hypocrites, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The Lord wants me to let you know, the only, the only reason the world is still spending on this axis is because I gave y'all more grace. If it was not for Jesus crying, sitting at my right hand, showing me his nail-scarred hands, speak, Lord. I would have been destroyed this world and all of y'all in it. He said, disgraceful. And he talking to his sons and daughters now. Disgraceful. Y'all can't even take authority? Y'all want to be in the world? Okay. Y'all got worldly goods. Y'all don't even have eyes to see and ears to hear. I told you to come out the world. You chose to stay. You got one. You got a few more chances. Period. The world over. The Lord says, thus says the Lord, Iran is on the way to the United States. This is a prophetic word. He even told me to turn the music down now. Prophetic word. Iran. The country. Iran. You ever heard of the Iranian nuclear deal? They thought they struck a deal with them. Iran has reneged on the deal. They reneged on the deal. They lied. They're not going to keep peace with the United States. There's too many Christians here. They ain't having none of that. They ain't having none of that. Okay? And guess what? So, the United States government decided to surrender. And instead of defending their territory with the help of the Lord, which is the only thing that has kept the United States as a superpower in the world, get educated. Get educated. Find out yourself. The only thing that has kept us a superpower in the world is because we've been covered by the grace of God. All of a sudden, y'all want to kick God out the Capitol, right? Okay, well, he said, look, y'all didn't want Trump to build that border wall? Fine, the enemy is at your gates. They're going to storm your cities, take your daughters and your children captive. And just like in, in uh, Daniel with the 70 weeks, he said, boy, y'all all going into captivity. Concentration camps are already built. Y'all all going into captivity. Repent before you share in the judgment of every other wicked, foul sinner. Who didn't think the Lord was good enough for them to trust in and follow? The only time y'all call on my father is when y'all need something. Oh God, please give me. Oh God, please heal me. Oh, and I swear. I swear, Lord. 
If you just do this for me one more time, I'll never. How am I getting blessed? Somebody out there being judgmental. Oh, you still struggle with marijuana. Okay, God is not the devil. I confess my sin to the Lord. He knows that. Just like he helped me pull out the yala and get this. Son, that was attached to my bloodline. And, and I don't even need to explain that. Mind your business. If you wasn't so busy trying to find fault in everybody else, you would have cleaned your robe and washed it yourself, and you would be spotless right now. And you would be the one being called what? Higher. So, with that being said, I don't care what y'all think. Iran is on the way. And they're coming through busing. I don't know the day or the hour. But boy, the first place they bombing is the White House. One of the only safe territories is going to be in the United States is going to be the state of Texas. This is a prophetic word. Take it to the Father if you think I'm a liar and I'm a cheat. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you think I'm a warlock or a witch. Go ahead. The Lord will show you my jacket. He got my paperwork. Go. go. Talk to the Lord and look at my paperwork before he smack you like this. Ow! For talking. All right? God first entertainment. And as the word was spoken, so shall it be established. But look, man, we even got natural disasters on the way. Y'all make sure y'all be in prayer for Ohio, Cleveland. Be in prayer for Cleveland, New Mexico. Lord, where else? What'd you say? Arizona. Um, Arizona. I got it written down, but I have it on my um, board. Illinois. He says, and it's one other place that I cannot recall. But y'all just be in prayer. The enemy's at work. There's a lot of saints here. You know what I'm saying? They don't like us. Joe Biden partnering up with all these, um, these, what you call it, countries that he know worship the beast. So what do you think our government is doing? He they homies. That's they homies. And y'all, oh, Donald Trump just wants all the evangelical Christians. Duh. Because we are one nation under God. Now y'all got us worshiping Baal. And we will share the same fate as every other nation. In times past. Who turned their back on God. So God bless y'all. God bless y'all. For real. That's all I can really say. Because all I did was sat at the master's feet. Fasted and prayed a little. That's where I got this information. You're going to keep thinking I'm crazy until you see a bomb or you hear something on your TV saying breaking news with a whole bunch of alerts. The only people who are going to be able to stop this attack from happening is the little small army that's capable of doing big things. So enlist right now, man. You already got your draft cards, but the Lord's not going to draft you because he doesn't force people to fight. You join this army under your own will and your own volition. Okay? Because you want to. Not because someone is making you. God is not going to drag you to obedience. You have to walk yourself there. That requires humility, honesty, a touch of empathy, and a whole lot of grace. So it's not going to be easy. But stop trying to do everything on your own. Stop being a hater. And let your brothers and sisters in the remnant help you. Okay? We love y'all. We ready to work. Y'all ready to work. How did the Lord start using us on the internet and all these other various places and spaces? We just made ourselves available. We made ourselves available. He told us to come out the world. We finally just was like, all right. Okay? So, one more scripture. Lord, show me where it is, please. James what, Lord? Four? James four, everybody. Verse what, Lord? What verse? Seven? James 4 and 7. Let's see. This is what I just heard in my spirit. Let's just see if it's right. I can check the contract and show y'all how I do this on camera. I'm not afraid to talk to the Lord right here. He's everywhere at the same time. If you would have known that, maybe you wouldn't have got caught slipping in the world, dummy. Why you do that? The world don't got nothing for you but heartache and sorrow and temporary gratification from falsified achievement. Because we ain't nobody but human beings. And we might think we all this and all that on this side, but one day we got to die, man. I would rather be nothing on this side and everything in eternity. That's just my 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 thing, but you got to give up things and be willing to sacrifice for stuff like that. You know what I mean? 
What you willing to give up for the Lord? Because he already gave up his life for you. You can't do the same for him. I mean, really, I'm serious. That's the least we can do. Alright. So James 4, verse 7. You said this is correct, Lord. It is correct. I'm sorry, y'all. That blows me away. I promise you I was going to do the benediction and get off of here. Thank you, Lord, for allowing me to hear your voice and not the voice of a stranger. Please help me to protect my ear gate, my eye gate, and everything, Lord. Please help me to watch what I'm smelling and what I'm touching, too. Please help me guard the gates of my heart, Lord, and my mind so that you can continue to speak through me, God, because I'm really enjoying this. And even on the days that I don't, I know it's helping and it's beneficial. Thank you for using me for your kingdom. I don't care if it's a small army. I don't care if it's just a couple hundred people. I don't care if it's 20 people. I don't care if it's one view. And I don't care if it stays at zero, Lord, because I did it for you. Thank you, David, for your story, your testimony, because we're surrounded by a cloud of, of witnesses. Who do you think the witnesses are? The people who are witnesses that stand for the gospel. Peter, Paul, Isaac, Jacob, Abraham, Samson, Rebecca. I can go on. Rahab, Abel. Huh? Those are the cloud of witnesses that we surrounded by. And they got to sit here and watch us on the earth act like this. And they died in the hopes that they could see this come to pass. And this is what we're going to do? Smack the prophets and men of God in their face? Huh? Some of these men were burned in hot oil to death. Some of them were exiled to foreign places. All because they tried to what? Help the world. Huh? And this is the thanks we give them? This is the best we can do. We can't stand in no authority. The world is really that. Cool. I got one, two, three computers, one tablet from the Lord, two ring lights, a t television with any type of streaming service I want to watch. And I'm telling you, bro, you know how I spend my days in the office with the TV off. This stuff ain't interesting. The Lord gave me this so I could do the work for the company, bro. I'm telling you, I still, I st with all these things and amenities that y'all want so bad, bro, with all this stuff, bro, I'm bored if I'm not spending time with the Lord. The world boring. It really is. Once you get a taste of the abundance that Jesus Christ has for you, but that's an individual decision, bro, and he not going to keep begging. He ain't going to keep begging. He said it in his word. His spirit is not always going to strive with men. So choose this day whom you will serve. Okay, James 4, 7. Let's go, Lord. I won't stop reading until you tell me to. You ready, Lord? Okay. Okay. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Didn't I just say that? And that was out of my mouth. Now the word is confirming it. Keep saying I'm not speaking for God. And anybody who said the Lord wasn't using me, he's coming to your house and he wants to smoke. You thought I was joking. Because you knew you was lying. You knew you was lying. And those people believed you. You knew you was lying. Mm -mm -mm. He said, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your heart, you sinners. And purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. And let your laughter be turned to mourning. And your joys be to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. Speak not evil of one another, brethren. He that speaketh, um, he that speaketh evil of his brother and judges his brother, speaketh evil of the law and judges the law. But if thou judge the law, thou art not, art not a doer of the law, but a judge. There is only one lawgiver, speak Lord, who is able to save and destroy. Who art thou? Who are you to judge another? I hope you listening, stupid. I tried to tell you, you dummy. Leave me and my household alone in the name of Jesus. For real. All them damn lies you told. You finna pay for that. The Lord want the smoke. There's only one Lord giver who's able to say, sorry for cussing, Lord. Please help me. I rebuke the spirit of profan profanity in Jesus' name. That's how you grow in the Lord. If you make a mistake, just tell him you messed up. Shut up. 
always talking, and I don't even know who it is, but be quiet. Twelve, there is one Lord giver who is able to save and destroy. Who art thou to judge us another? Go to now, ye say that today or tomorrow we will go to such a city and continue there a year. Didn't you hear what I just said about Iran? This is confirmation. Confirmation. War is coming to America, you dummies. That's what you get for letting these politicians do everything against God here and not taking a stand. And now the enemy has our territory, you idiots. Now we about to blow up. And the Lord tried to talk to America so much. Say, stop. What are you doing? You're supposed to be an example of the world. Now Babylon will fall, says the Lord. And the world is going to look on when they see the smoke from America rising and say, oh, great Babylon has fallen. That sounds like biblical prophecy. And these things must come to pass before the Savior's return. Jesus is on the way. Will you make heaven your home today? Will you make heaven your home? Let me finish reading. Um... Who are you to judge us another? Go to now, ye say that today or tomorrow we'll go to such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get grain. Whereas ye know not what shall be on tomorrow. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. For what is your life, says the Lord. Speak, Lord. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away. For that ye ought to say, you ought to say, you should say, if it's the Lord's will, we will live and do this or that. But now you rejoice in your boastings. All such rejoicing is evil. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him that is sin. You could get mad at me all you want. I did not write this book. I just met the author. And he's the author and finisher of all our faith. That's from the faithful and true witness, the amen, the alpha and omega, the first and the last. And if you don't know now, you're going to find out later. Because every knee going to bow and confess that my Jesus, sweet Jesus, is Lord. All right. Let the pray us out of here, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the word. I'm sorry, I know I come off a little strong, but the Lord didn't appoint me to be a lion in this hour. I mean a lamb in this hour, he appointed me to be a lion. Two guns up. Yeah, again, it's been an honor and a privilege to come before you today. It is my job and my hope that I will begin to help you take everything that the enemy stole from you. Look, I robbed the enemy territory blind. And he finna give me my car. And he finna give me my house. And he about to bring me my fine wife. And I'm talking about, she good Google Mooga fine. Good Google Mooga. You, you see how it make it go. Good Google Mooga. Thank you, Lord, for my wife and my children. Uh, God first entertainment. The Lord said do a song for y'all. Let's go, Lord. You know I got one in the clip. Two guns up. New album on the way. God first entertainment. Welcome. Baby New Eva. Uh. Baby New York. Uh huh. We in the lab with the Lord. Hey, we in the lab with the Lord. Hey, you know I'm cutting with the sword. It ain't nothing for the Lord. Understand what it is. Straight busting for the Lord. People out here lying. They be bluffing on the Lord. False talking. All of these discussions on the Lord. They ain't never know it, yo. They ain't never bring the source, though. Understand, yo, I'm forearmed like Goro. I do it up. I'm in your room. He converted this shelter right here to a war room. I need some more soldiers. Give me some more rooms. I need some gangsters. I need some real goons. Real rap, yeah, cause it gotta stop round the clock being watched by the ops. Pray for me. Yeah. You want me to keep going? I can do another verse, Lord. Freestyle off the top of the dome. Um. God first entertainment. And we ain't even trying to be famous. We gonna make the Lord famous again, cause y'all must have forgot. 
who he is, huh? The first and the last, rose from the dead. He is and forever will be the greatest, the greatest, the greatest. Move over, Cassius Clay. Move to the side, Muhammad Ali. I got some news for you, buddy. I'ma show you who the greatest. Heal my whole body. Two strokes in the heart attack. Do you understand me? Lost my mom, my whole family, before I could even walk, breathe, speak, or talk. Was diagnosed that got with glaucoma at the age of 16, going blind. Almost went completely blind before I was even 21. I'ma testify. Amen. Amen. My albums, my music, and my shows that I put here that y'all just refuse to watch, it's okay. Because there's people in the United Kingdom that don't mind watching. That's why you see my views going up. That's why. That's why. So join in the spiral and help a young aspiring minister go viral. You know what I mean? Stop being a hater, man. Join in, man. Share the video, man. Stop being greedy, man. Shout out the screenshot. They finna give me an endorsement in the name of Jesus. They about to give me an endorsement, and then after that, they gonna make me and my man as a partner. Yeah, you know I mean, then we gonna do all screenshot everything. Uh, all screenshot everything. Uh, and they got more clothes coming to the crib. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. God first entertainment. Just when you thought I was out the game. Just when you thought you knocked me off. Just when you thought to smack me from the bushes, bro. Guess who's coming to dinner? God first entertainment. And we ain't trying to be famous. Nah. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Yes. Please, Father God, bless this message. Let it run from heart to heart. And from breast to breast, God, let it touch, let it heal, let it save, and let it deliver. And it's going to do what it do, baby. Yeah. I love y'all so much. I wish I could stay longer. You know what I mean? But we got other things to do. More stuff on our itinerary. Things to get ready. You know what I mean? Still getting the book ready for y'all. Please purchase that when it come out. Please support the album. Please. We work so hard here. We work so hard. Even if you don't like us. It doesn't matter, baby. Don't you love the Lord? You don't gotta like me. You don't gotta like me. But we gonna get together. We gonna get to heaven together. We going up the glory together. So join into the army, man. Join in the army. And if you're looking for work, I got a job for you, too. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. God first entertainment. We love y'all. Be blessed, baby. For sure. Y'all be blessed for sure, bro. Y'all be blessed for sure. Amen. The Lord did a good job using me today. Thank you, Lord. Hand clap of praise for the Lord before I go. Hand clap of praise. This is for you, Father. Thank you for using me. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for letting me do this again. And we came before y'all quick with the yalla. And I got the next word ready or ready. Okay? So y'all stay tuned. Make sure y'all be in tune for the next episode because we going to bring the big homie, one of my favorites, one of the best examples for me as a man of God, the big homie, one of the most despised. One of the most rejected, one of the most disrespected, and one of the most mighty men of God. I'm talking about the one, the only, Gideon, baby. That's where we going next. Okay, Judges the seventh chapter for anybody who wants a little taste of the word early. <laughs> you know what I mean? Judges the seventh chapter. And we finna take some more territory. Okay? I'm enjoying doing this with y'all. Let's go back into the enemy's camp. We got him so shook, bro. We got him so shook, y'all. <laughs> we got him, he's so scared, he don't know what to do. <laughs> he's so confused. Oh, he bombed out and depleted. You don't understand, we got to stand on the rope. Y'all come hold him down so God can get some kicks in. <laughs> Amen. Hold me down as I lift y'all up, and we gonna continue to go from glory to glory in all seriousness. I'm out. I love y'all. From G1 headquarters and from my heart to yours, I love you. You stay safe. And above all else, you make sure you keep God with God first.